Hello everybody and welcome to Cooking with Bad Boy Halo and today we are going to be making chicken noodle soup. So here we go. Okay, so first things first, you're going to need your carrots, you're going to need your chicken, and you're going to need your salt and pepper and parsley. And uh, today we're going to be using parsley flakes, uh, flaky. And you're going to need your celery and your noodles. And we will be using gluten-free noodles today. Now, you don't have to use gluten-free noodles, but these will be the kind we will be using because we're trying to have a gluten-free chicken noodle soup. Also, you're going to need a chicken stock. We'll be using Better Than Bouillon to make our chicken broth. You can make your own chicken noodle stock from home if you want, but this is what we'll be using because it is easy and it is also gluten-free. Gluten-free. You're also going to need a cutting board and a knife to chop up your onions and stuff. Ooh, and you'll need one onion. I forgot that. One onion as well. Yes, one onion. And you will need a pot of water. I've already got this pot on and it is boiling already. So we'll let that boil and then we'll get started. Now for this next step, you want to wash your onion, get it nice and clean and peel as much as you can off of it. Then what we're going to do is we're going to cut it up using our knife. So here we go. Ja. See how easy that was? Look at the diced onion. And don't worry, a few tears are natural when chopping up the onion. Now, we are just going to add the onion into the pot. Now that we have added our onion into the pot, we are now going to add in seasoning. As in, we are going to add in our uh, chicken base and we are going to mix it up. Now for this chicken broth, we're just going to add in about half of it. So yeah, just half of this jar. We're gonna dump into there for the wind. Add it to the pot and stir. Oh, yeah. And remember, you can make your own chicken stock at home if you prefer. The next thing we're going to do is wash our celery and then dice it up. Remember, you want to use about two stalks of celery but you can use more or less depending on what you prefer. Now you may be like, that's a lot of celery. But keep in mind that we will be making a batch for either a family to enjoy or a batch that you can store and save in the fridge for like a week or something. So here we go. It is time to chop it. And ja! And there we go. All the celery is chopped. See how easy that is? Now remember, make sure to ask your parents before you use dangerous weapons like this kitchen knife. Ooh, dangerous. No, but seriously, these are dangerous and you can cut yourself, so be careful, please. Now after you add your celery, you want to make sure you stir it up really nice. So, um, you're gonna let the celery cook down for a little bit. The water was boiling here when you stir it. It uh, stops boiling, but you want to let it cook down a little bit. Now, the reason you put the onions in first is because they will cook down super, super uh, quick, which you don't want to like bite into an onion, which is why you put those in first. You want the flavor of the onion without any of the, uh, you know, the texture. Now, I like onions, but that's just me. Same with the celery. You want it to cook down. Uh, basically, you're going to chop your carrots now and add those in. Oh my gosh, that's so many carrots to chop. So we're going to go ahead and get chopping right now. Here we go. I'm gonna pick up our knife and chop. See how easy that was to chop up the carrots? So simple. Okay, so now that we've added the carrots into our soup, it is time to add the seasoning. We're going to add in the salt and the pepper. Here we go. Oh and the parsley. So just take your parsley like this and be generous. Just enough to kind of create a little parsley island on the top. Just like that, yeah? Alright, next you want to take your salt and just shake in a bunch of salt. Really doesn't matter how much you add, you just don't want to over salt it. Like uh, if you decide it's not salty enough later, you can add a little bit more. I found it really doesn't matter. 
um, like when you're reheating it or whatever, or like as you're tasting it um, later. But uh, yeah, so add a little bit of salt and then you're gonna add a little bit of pepper. The next thing you want to add is the pepper. Mmm, lots of tasty pepper. Mmm, just shaking a bunch of pepper. You can never add too much pepper. Actually, that's not true. <laughs> you, you can add in too much pepper, but that is a good amount. I like that. Don't know how well you can see it, but when you can start to see like pepper flakes like mixing through it all, then you're pretty much good. Okay, now it is time for the least favorite part, the chicken. You've got three chunky pieces of chicken breast right here, and we are going to take these chicken breasts and we are going to dice them up into uh, chunks. Now you want to make your chunks about an inch by an inch is what I like to go for. Um, and But remember, uh, save this until our soup has reached just the right consistency. So we're going to come over, we're, you know, we've let our soup sit for a little bit. We're going to check up on it. It looks pretty good. You know, it's steaming and look at that. You can see the, uh, the soup pieces. But basically what you're going for is you want to dice your chicken up about 10 minutes before your celery and your carrots reach a nice uh, chewy, sort of not chewy, but like when they become like, you know, they're not like hard or stringy. Once your celery isn't stringy anymore, then, you know, it's that's when you add the chicken in um, at that point. Uh, so once your celery isn't like crunchy, stringy, then boom, add your diced chicken that you're going to dice into inch by inch cubes. But anyway, this is your raw chicken. Uh, so what I do is I cut it one, two times across like that. And this is a piece, see it's about an inch by an inch across. Um, and then you just dice them all like that. Do that with all three. And then we're going to add it in uh, once our soup reaches the perfect uh, consistency with our veggies. So let's do that right now. All right, so you want to get your veggies at about this type of consistency. So like use a spoon, scoop them out. Mmm. Taste them. Mmm. Delicious. Oh, the carrots aren't quite cooked. Um, if you look at the celery, see, so basically you want your celery to cook enough so that it loses the, uh, the cellulose consistency. Like it should just like break apart when you take it. Like, look at that. It basically, it's getting really like s sort of squishy, but not like squishy. Like it's getting to the point where it's, um, it's hard to describe, but basically it, it kind of breaks apart and you know, it's got that perfect like soup consistency. Once it's reached that, once the celery's reached that and your carrots are just the point where they're just starting to break and they're cooked, you know, then you're ready to add your chicken. So we're gonna give this about three more minutes and then we'll add in our chicken and it's gonna taste awesome. No, 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 it's already so good. All right, so our soup is ready and we're going to add our chicken. So just take your chicken and add those bad boys in all your delicious chunky chicken. Be careful because the water is super hot. And you wanna add them because they'll start to cook the second you drop them in, so you don't want to take too long. Scoop it, drop that, those bad boys in. Try not to get burned. Just like that, keep going. Oh my gosh, this is taking forever. And just drop it in. And then you want to keep an eye on it. Your soup will uh, stop boiling for a little bit. But basically, you're going to let your chicken cook until it is basically white in the center. All right, so our timer is almost up. And... All right, so because your noodles, these noodles don't need super long to cook. Drop those bad boys in. Whoa, that was kind of bizarre. Uh, boom, there we go. So we're going to dump those bad boys in. And we'll give it a little bit of a stir. Kind of stir it up. Yeah, let those noodles stir. Boom. And these noodles that I have right here don't need that long to cook. They only need about two minutes boiling um, and like 15 minutes sitting with like something covering it. But basically, I'm going to let these bad boys cook. And they're gluten-free noodles, which means they're made out of rice, so they cook a little bit differently than like wheat pasta would. So just like read the bag and follow the instructions on those. But look at that chicken. Let's find a piece. There we go. So look at that chicken. Now, if I bust that sucker open, it's gonna look nice and white on the inside, which is what you want. You want that chicken to be cooked, no pink on the middle. So if like a bigger piece that you pull out isn't pink in the middle, then you're golden. So that's perfect. So we'll let that cook. Check our chicken and then, you know, let this sit for like five more minutes and then we'll check it again. All right, so I'm going to go and say that our soup is officially almost done. We will check on the noodles. The noodle consistency looks good. 
Now remember, you don't want to wait until your noodles are cooked all the way, like because the water's still going to be hot, and they'll still cook even after you take them off the heat. So we're going to go over here and turn the heat off, and then we'll move these guys over to the side so they're not even directly on the heat at all. And then, yeah, we're good to go. Mmm, chicken noodle soup. Nom, 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 nom. All right, everybody, that is all. Um, there you have it. That's how you make delicious homemade chicken noodle soup. If you have plenty for the family, then eat up. And if you want, just put it in a container or several, and you can save it and just reheat it throughout the week. I will put a uh, more in-depth recipe in the description if you want to, uh, you know, go for that. Again, I don't have anything like really finite measurements and whatnot, because it's, you know, not you know how i cook but anyway hopefully you enjoyed this hopefully you know how to make some delicious tasty chicken noodle soup now and enjoy let me know if there's anything you'd like to change about the recipe and be sure to send me any pictures if you make your own soup or upload videos of you making it to your channel for the win that's all everybody my apologies for my outrageous accent that i put on at certain points in the video again uh, but yeah Thank you for watching. Thumbs up and all the good stuff. What should I make next time? <gasps> brownies? Should I make brownies? Brownies! And don't forget to reward your lovely <laughs> assistant <laughs> for helping you make the chicken noodle soup. Isn't that right? Very good.